Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That, we're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more, and we do the inspirational segments, and we do these Tech Tuesdays to help you guys out there. So do make sure you like and subscribe so that way you'll get a notification any of the Tech Tuesdays that we're putting out or any of the segments that you guys may be interested in. So today we are back with the Trace system. Um, this is going to be a little bit longer video um, than most. Um, this is in re relation to the recording of your soccer game. So if you guys have become more familiarized with the Trace and the all the information within trace and how to find your players stats the spots that you you want within you know trace as far as with the recording and all of that and you want to screen record your video um, we're going to tell you that in this segment so there'll be probably other segments that relate to this but this is the first initial i would call it the beginner side of things and what we what we recommend though however before we get into this is go to some of our you know past videos in regards to obs um that is the recording platform of course that we are on right now i am recording this video and doing this training piece within obs um so you got to understand OBS and how it works before you get into doing this. So it, it's a little bit more advanced, I would say, as far as, um, you know, the, just basically just going through and trying to, you know, go ahead and record. So you got, you got to understand how the program works before you can just click a button and hit record. And it's it just going to work for you with a snap of the finger. You need to understand how the, the the system works. You do have to set it up and you do have to get everything implemented in, which I am going to show you real quick uh, OBS. I'm going to switch over to that screen. And as you see here, this is this is the game, but I'm going to switch over to the OBS screen and you'll see it pop up right here. So this is OBS. Um, this is what I see on the other screen on the other other side. And you guys can kind of see a little bit of it. It's, it's, you know, I'm screen recording right now, but you can't see the whole, uh, as far as everything within OBS. Now you can see my microphone um, picking up. And as I said, there, there are several things that you have to add. Um, as you see, this is just called scene. I, I've created this scene, uh, added it added all my information in here because you have to add literally everything your your audio um, output your desktop your your display capture shut off your audio i'm just going through this real quick because like i said you you have to go through the other obs videos to really understand how to add all this and then understand how obs works and, and once you get it down this is a great program i i, I stand by this program it's a free program we'll put a link in there um and we've used this for a long time and it, it works great so if you're your coach maybe and you're just wanting to do a training segment you can just do this right here on obs or if you're you're a, uh, that's such as we're covering here if you're a, a parent or whoever it may be that's wanting to pull some of your information from trace and you're wanting to record um you know some key spots for your player and, and maybe talk about or have your player do it which Gavin does all of his own and, and um, records them on OBS and then transfer, uh, trans transfers those onto another editing program, which that's another segment on how you can edit and blend all your videos together. But right now we are just talking about OBS and how to screen record your key segments that you want. So now... Let's say you're in OBS, you have all this set up, you've, you've watched all the other videos and you're ready to go. So basically what you would wanna do, and you don't see it on ours, uh, you would have to go through to the display capture and go through and make sure that you have the display uh, capture there. Now, the reason why our show several areas here of, you know, just basically OBS, OBS coming through, is because right now we're screen recording this and we can't do two display captures um, currently and show you show you that at the same time. So once you bring that up, uh, your display capture, as I as I indicated here, and you have it 
in the correct area, it will actually go basically and look just like this does. And it'll be on your other screen. So I would recommend when you're using OBS to record those key spots within your video. Um, there's a lot of uh, areas that are very helpful with an OBS that can, you know, catch this, the screen recording. So like, let's say we're recording this one here and you guys can see that on the screen and you're in OBS and I'm going to switch back there and you go ahead and what you want to do is you want to hit start recording, which I'm not going to do because I'm recording on another one and it'll in interrupt it. Um, so you hit start recording and you will, it'll play that basically it will record the area so like if you did you know maybe a, a 20 second play here and and you just wanted to see that play play happen and then you went back and hit you know your your stop stop recording on obs then what it would do it would go and save it into a file area so once that area is saved it'll be into a document file and as i said we have previous videos that that show you where those files are and uh, what drive they're under and usually they're under c drive um, but once you hit stop recording it will put it into that file and now you have a file screen recorded area of you know whatever play this may be so Another thing within OBS is about setting up your screen, your cameras, your uh, the box here. As you see, there's um, you you basically can't really see it on mine, but in OBS there there is a screen, and that's why I keep looking over here. Um, you can actually widen the screen. Your so there's several different sizes and areas. Uh, within the screen I'll show you real quick but th that's what these red areas are um, you can widen and, and shrink uh, so those were in previous videos to tell you how to do that and then you know your webcam as you see here is the webcam that's me right now talking on mine is the webcam you don't see me on this one um, that I'm looking at right in front of me and that you guys can kind of see the webcam here of course you can't see it because OBS doesn't work in dual platforming systems, which we're doing now. And I'm just kind of just screen visualizing and showing you how that all works. But these are all in previous segments. So you have to set up your OBS first, learn OBS, learn how it works um, and set up your, you know, do some tests before you get into recording. Cause we recommend that that's, that's all ready and prepared and you're ready to go and you're ready to screen record parts of your game. So, you know, what I would do is put into anything that you have questions on, put it into the comments or email us and we'll put them into small segments. Maybe you didn't find it in a past video that we have done with OBS. I, I know I've done several videos of uh, OBS probably with, over the last two years. I've probably done 30 of them or 40 of them. But of course, there's so much within OBS that I could probably do 150 of them. So there, there might be a certain section that you're held up on. Let us know and I can create a video that's directed to that. Again, the link will be below for OBS. Download that. It is a completely free program. Great program. Um, and it doesn't have a bunch of pop-up ads. It doesn't have a bunch of um, freezing issues. And... I mean, it's just a great program all around. I mean, there's other screen recording uh, programs that do work, uh, you know, good as well. And we've tried those out, but we, we've always stuck with OBS. So, again, this is the screen report recording platform for your game. And as we get into other videos, we'll talk about whatever questions that you may have. And then we will get into editing your video. So once you've learned OBS, you've screen recorded maybe, I don't know, 20 segments out of a game and they're just short segments. They're five second segments maybe, or they're, they're 10 second segments and you wanted to, to piece them out. 
we also use an editing program that is great that um, that Gavin uses and puts music to and then you render it and process it and then you can put it in YouTube you can put it in any kind of format that you want um, that does work great and we'll talk about that in a different segment but right now we want you all to get familiarized with OBS how that works and the system and any other questions that you guys have before I start really going into more into editing side of things. So we'll see you on the next video.